Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So last time we were over here, right? So I am going to teach you some new things today in this uh, our second chapter of zebra printing language. So yeah, so last time I showed you how to print your name over here and uh, when we started uh, the font was really small and I forgot to you know like mention uh, in that video I told that I'll be teaching you I'll be teaching you like two methods or two commands to change the font but I gave only one sorry for that but uh, I'll, I'll rectify that so let me remove this command and then try to redraw and as you can see that uh, it again went back to that normal size correct Field origin 0 0 so is here 0 comma 0 x y okay now for changing the font you know what you can do is field origin okay we we know the starting point is over here okay we know the data so just to change the font of that you know, what you can do is you can use this caret symbol again remember always use a caret symbol before the command without it the printer won't understand so you can go like this a is kind of like command for font and then you can go for like uh, 0 comma 15 and let's see what happens see it became a little bit bigger right more darker more bigger so let's, let's try to give 25 see this is how like that cf uh, like it gave you the thickness i mean like the font and the height here you can do the same thing so that's complete like two ways to change the font right you can change other also like, like how it is zero over there you can give one and then let's try see it got again change correct so if there are like multiple once you get to the get uh, the other uh, font example you will get to know okay for now let's let's do let's deal with this okay let's get back here now i'll teach you some more thing i'll i'll show you what okay now let's just try to print one more line in this okay f fill origin okay since it is like zero zero so i'll print like i'll keep the starting point over here only but it, it should go below okay so x would be zero only since it is here only attached to the x coordinate and i want like a little bit below let's just say i'll go with 20 okay well we will use the same font a0 comma 25 and then the field data what you want what we want today okay let's go with zebra okay now what do you expect when i click, click redraw it should print over here right okay let's give it a try then see what happened now the zebra came exact below that is fine okay but the ratio of youtube the, this one it got eliminated okay so this is because the printer does not know that we have to print this as well and this as well the, you need to specify the printer that this is a separate field and this is a separate field okay or what you can say that this kind of like uh, this thing this fd field data kind of uh, over override on this okay so just to exclude that we have something a uh, command called caret fs f is nothing but a field separator okay like any other language you must have seen in uh, other language where you have, we have to put semicolon to you know kind of end that line so we have something called over here like field separator caret field separator it will separate these two field okay it should be like end with uh, it should go with every command line for this zpl now when i click this see what happened both came right earlier it was not there so that is how like this field separator works now you can play with this thing if you want like if you really want to try we uh, let's give it a try it it should be attached over here only and i want to bring this zebra a little bit below it was 20 over there so let me give like uh, 50 let's see 
see it came back below you can play with x y coordinates let's let's just say i want to keep it somewhere here okay you have to do trial and error it might be like you are you might be in between or sometime it won't be in between so you have to give it a try i am just taking a 350 even i'm not sure where it will lag but okay so it landed here so it should be a little bit less uh, let's give it 250 okay okay so somewhere we are in the middle right so this is how you play with the extra coordinates and the data okay so this concludes your this thing with a, how you can play with data okay how you can i um, mean like uh, print something hard coded what you want okay this is hard coded but if you want something like a uh, variable okay every time uh, it needs to be dynamic so we have something called fb that i'll be teaching you in like couple of videos okay right now i want to teach you something else uh so now i'll be explaining you about the graphic box the main aim for today's video is the graphic box it's a very simple thing graphic box it will be like a square okay a square i want to print a square over here okay square or rectangle uh, it's up to you for well, how whatever the requirement of the label or whatever you want to draw okay so for that uh let's just start from over here on the okay we so to start so to tell the printer we uh we have to specify that the field origin for the graphics box should be zero only x should be here only but uh, y y should be below this so right now this is zebra so y is 50 so we want below that okay below like quite below so 50 will go with like uh, 100 so that we have like proper you know gapping between zebra and the box over here now comes the graphic box okay it's very just remember what i am saying and see what i am doing we have applied over here field origin 0.100 so it will 0.100 over here okay will it will come somewhere here okay and now to draw graphic box what you have to do is i can caret symbol what i told gb okay gb is nothing but it's a graphic box okay now graphic box have three parameters one is width okay uh, let me give with like uh, let's just say 100 okay this is width width is like something like this like this okay and then okay let me give you and then we have uh, called uh, we have height so i have just given nothing right now okay i'll show you what does it what difference does it make okay and then after that with happened height also done oh yeah now thickness thickness also let me give it like uh, uh, we'll keep this as zero no thickness okay and then we need that uh, fill separator okay this should come with ev with every line okay so when i draw it see what happens we have only the width because we did not specify the height when we specify the height no it will come like this okay now see right now it is a very small box with a thickness 0 that's why we cannot see box it is still a box with high uh, with 100 but the height is like uh, null so we do not see any kind of you know rectangle portion over here okay and the thickness is very like low zero now but if you give over 100 over here now see what happens we got a box since it is 100 100 so it is a square if you want a rectangle uh, let's just say a standing rectangle 1000 see what happen that's that's way to be let's give it a 500 half somewhere here okay or let's just say i'll make this as 100 and this one as 200 see how cool is that we got our self a box over here and you know for this you can actually increase the thickness of it see uh let's just give 5 it's totally up to you how how thick you want 